J'ai parlé ce matin. I spoke this morning of laws against blasphemy that are used in order to condemn any criticism of Islam right up to using the death penalty. I'd like now to denounce the practice of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, which is working successfully to obtain globally recognition of the crime of Islamophobia and its transcription into national law on a par with racism, xenophobia, or anti-Semitism. Now, race is a function of nature. And this is why it would be unfair to criticize or reproach anyone for their race. However, Islam is a cultural identity and uh, presupposes free choice and thus the possibility of error and of criticism. So how can we explain that Western countries uh, are now applying themselves Sharia at the price of uh, a lie? providing some kind of uh, equality between racism and Islamophobia. This formula assimilates Muslims and Islam as uh, just as true, innocent, and necessary as nature itself. Islam is presented as the natural religion of humanity and uh, suggesting that a man should be Muslim. I'm quoting the Quran 3030 as a consequence of which uh, there is a call for eradication, Quran 64. My association calls upon Odir to fight against the spread of these sinister generalizations, especially to call upon the Council of Europe to withdraw its report on Islamophobia and its consequences on youth and the f to withdraw specifically these statements, and I quote, Islamophobia can be defined as a vision of Islam altered by prejudice, and quote, or, and I quote, Islamophobia is a violation of human rights and a threat to social cohesion, end quote. If Christ taught us to distinguish between the natural and the supernatural, which allows us to love even our enemies, Truth is the greatest good which we owe to one another. Thank you for your attention.